week, I'm going to try to cast the exhaust hanger. That's also the passenger peg on um, fiberglass and then wrap it in carbon fiber. I don't actually have all the stuff yet. I'm still waiting for it to come in the mail. So I'm at least going to get the foam cut and try to at least make the actual part that I want to wrap in fiberglass. After sanding for a couple hours, trying to replicate this. Um, I made this little old witch's bone, um, which doesn't look bad, but I started thinking about it, and why am I trying to replicate this, you know, it's ugly to begin with, um, so I was kind of overthinking it, so I just made this little template out of foam, that marker's just to give me an idea, it's not really going to look like that, but I'm going to cover this, those are the angles I need. I did eight shots of the resin, so I'm going to do four shots of the hardener, plus a little more. <laughs> so that's one time I did this project at school and I didn't put enough hardener in it and it's wet constantly, like it'll never dry. So. Done with the first piece of fiberglass, um, laid it down and wet it out. So I'm going to wait probably an hour, and then I'm going to come back and do the next one. Okay, so it's been an hour since I put the first sheet on, so I'll have to do another one. Third coat, third piece of glass. Um, you can tell it's been sitting for a while because it didn't wet out real quick. Like it was taking a while for the resin to soak into the fiber, but I had just enough to get done. I'll leave it for a day and then I'll come back and try to peel it off. Hopefully I put enough paste on it. So I finally pulled it off after waiting. It's still pretty flexible. So I'm gonna double it up and do another three layers.
So there's number four. Number Six. Starting to look like an exhaust hanger, a little bit. Cut it out, and I decided this is way too flimsy. Uh, so I made this little foam support for it. It's gonna make it kind of like a strut. Okay, so mixed up resin with the black tint and spread it over, let it get tacky. I'm about to do the last two pieces.
So I put another Akota epoxy over the top of it just to get it real thick. And then uh, I've just been sanding on it. I did this side. Looks pretty good. That's how you picture it. Um, but it takes forever. That's why I'm not filming it. Um, it's probably going to take hours and hours and hours to get this side to look like that side. So it's all sanded. Um, the first layer I laid down. I didn't dye the resin black. So now I've got to put a coat of resin over the first part to dye it black just in case the carbon fiber um, pulls. You don't see a white spot. So I'm just going to paint a thin coat of resin. Um, I kind of just plan on doing the back and then letting it cure and hopefully sanding it right to the edge um, and having a clean edge and then wrapping the front um, and doing the same thing. Uh, but I don't know how that's going to work so I might end up sanding it smooth after that and just trying to wrap it like a Christmas present or something. I really don't know what I'm going to do if that doesn't work. I'm really not doing this stuff to say this is how to do it, you know. This is like the training video, you know. I'm just doing it in case you have questions or you're thinking about doing it yourself. Um, but don't really know what kind of problems you run into. Um, that's what I'm doing, is running into the problems for you. So, you've got a better idea of what you can hack. This is kind of an ambitious project for your first time dealing with fiberglass or carbon fiber because I didn't pull a mold off anything. I did it from scratch. So, it's a trick in and of itself. Got it all trimmed up and sanded, and uh, I sanded the back of it because it's got a bunch of little imperfections in it. So I'm just going to mix up a little baby coat of resin. My batteries died right after I started wrapping the top of it. Sorry about that. Um, but now all I gotta do is cut it out. It met real good at the seams. I don't know if you can tell, but like right in there. The shitty thing is it all jeweled down here and left a big mark, so now it's gonna be another series of sanding the bottom of it and then coating it. Right now I'm just going to cut this stuff out. There. 
Now, I'm just going to have to sand this even. Um, it turned out decent. It's not really thick enough where it's not shiny and you can still see the weave. So, I'm going to have to sand it down and then coat this again. And then it's probably going to drool through and I'm going to have to sand more of it off here. So, I'm not even going to do that. So, I'm just going to keep coming out here every half hour probably and put another coat on it. So it's cured. Um, there's still a couple th threads that kind of show through right in there. Um, that's not a big deal. I think I'm just being paranoid. But there's a drip right there. I got to clean up that one a little bit. Um, and then you can see a couple little specks. One right there. One right there. So I just want to make sure I got enough on it so that I can sand it smooth without going through. So. I'm going to do one more little preventative coat, um, and then I'll sand it down in urethane. It probably could be done now. I mean, it's hard. It's totally rigid, but I just don't want to have to do it later because I'm not happy with it. So, one more coat. Here it is, after that coat of resin. Dude, I'm just chasing my tail with these drips. There's a monster drip right down the back of it. And that's like the one part I wasn't trying to sand a lot. So, who knows. I'm just going to sand it with finer and finer paper. And I'll just show you in between steps. I'm done with the rough sanding. And I got most of it pretty smooth. You can see some of those tiny little pinholes um, in some spots. But it's as good as I can get it. And that's a little beat up. But... It's going to be covered up, so I went and got 320 and 600. So I just got done with the 320. Give it the old wet towel wipe down so you can see the progress. So I can see the progress. It's getting shinier, not where it needs to be. So I'm gonna do the 600 real quick. Now that you got it smooth with that 180, it's uh, going pretty quick. So, so I decided I'm just gonna clear it with that urethane um, clear that I got. Um, there's just a bunch of imperfections in it, that, like little bubbles, and so there's a light spot that you won't be able to see, but I can see it right there. So. Set, and then I'll give it another coat. Probably do it two or three times. So, just to show you the difference, not that it matters, in these two pieces, that one's a little over a pound. It's about a pound less. Like, so. Not that a pound even makes a difference. You could take a big dump before you went riding, and it'd be the same thing, but just out of random curiosity, I thought I'd show you. There's bolts in there with a couple rubber washers on that side, and then a couple on that side. I know where this is going to end up, so I can bend that hanger around and see where it's going to land, and then I can drill a hole in that.
go. Looks pretty good. Looks a lot better than the other thing. From way back. I take it out in the sun to show you guys, but it's cloudy and you won't see it anyways. But it looks pretty good, I think. I moved it outside so you can kind of see it better in the light. Um, looks pretty good. You can see it's not perfectly smooth because of the shininess, but it's a hell of a lot better than the other one. I like it. I think I'm going to do the chain guard next. Just to make a little classier looking one than that big old plastic thing.